in this tutorial we'll create a dreamweaver template and then from the template we'll create three pages and all the three pages will have more or less the same overall design but different content okay let's start with simple template first you have to declare the site give a site name then give the local site folder give the local site folder and click save next you will create a new file file new okay we can use the starter templates For example we can choose basic layout don't don't choose bootstrap yet we use the basic first Okay, for example, I'm using basic layout, basic multi columns, create. So it have a few links here about work, portfolio, services and client. Okay, and here you can click three to one. It will change the design 1000 pixel or more than that. Click the last part. Okay, so usually, if you want to use this as your template, you have to save it as template. Uh, save as template, but currently it's not activated activated it's not clickable so you have to change from live to design okay that's the rule in dreamweaver you can only save as template in design view currently there's no template so we put this is our design one save when you have a template, you have standard design for the menu and the content should be different from one page to another. So let's say this is the part where you place your content. So what you should do is you should insert template and then editable region. Okay. So you give it a name content one for example maybe you have several area for your content so this is content one it's currently labeled content one okay this is content one next uh, you should create links for example the first link is home and then second one may be your project okay and then last one is your gallery okay then you give the title for your website okay then you save okay as you can see in your file section currently we have uh, this is the root folder and your templates are saved somewhere in the folder called templates okay it's here so uh, i am using web number one okay next we will create a new file from the template that we have created new okay we choose site templates and then choose the template that we have created create when you create something from the template you see that you can't edit other area except the the one that you have declared as editable 
so other parts you can even click it because it's already blocked these are the non-editable region this is the editable region so you put the content for home in whatever you want to put in home welcome so this is the home page currently it's untitled so we save file save usually the home page we name it as index.html okay no spaces or lowercase this is the name of the first page home okay so you have two files now one is design whatever dot dwt dream weaver template the other one is the new file based on the template okay so we we will build three pages home project and gallery file new okay again we choose the template that we have created okay this time you have the third file template index the next one is project and then the last one is gallery we'll build three link pages so i will save this as okay, project.html okay, the content is the only part where you can edit this is the project page Okay, the content should be anything about your project you can insert photo here project one two and so on okay the last file file new again is also based on the same template site template choose your template and then create okay currently it's untitled because we haven't saved it so the last page is about gallery you put some photo here okay then you save it i'll save as okay put the name gallery.html okay so we have four files now the template dwt is where you declare which part is editable not edi editable so the menu usually is not edi editable uh, the content is where you declare it as editable okay the concept or the idea of using template is when you update this file dwt all three other files index project gallery or if you have more than that as long as it is based on the single template that you have Whenever you update the DWT file, the other files will be updated. Okay. Okay. For example, here in the DWT file, I will update the footer area. Okay. In the footer area, currently it's maybe this should be your email address. Okay, so I have updated the DWT file. Okay, make sure you are editing DWT file. When you make a save, file save. Okay, what happened is the other HTML file will be updated. Okay, example index will have the new updated footer same goes with project and gallery so gallery also have uh, the new footer okay next you will see that there is a a star here html star index html star means this file is not safe yet okay the the file should be safe save all and you need to preview it so you open any of these three HTML file, will preview. Okay, file preview real time preview in Chrome or your favorite browser. 
okay when you preview currently the pages are not linked if i click home it won't go to other pages gallery photo is not linked so we need to fix the hyperlink in the dwt file okay the content you edit it in the html file whatever uh, which is not editable it should be in the dwt file if you zoom in or zoom out the layout should automatically change based on the responsive template okay after this we'll try bootstrap this one is just a normal responsive template okay let's go back to dwt dwt file this is where you fix the link okay so for home you need to go to properties and link first you highlight the word home okay, and then you go to properties find the proper file for index okay so the style is updated to this style if you don't want the style to be changed you can undo it okay, you go to split okay highlight the word home okay instead of highlighting in the design you choose to highlight it in the code okay highlight in the code and then a link then choose index for project same you can highlight the word project then the file project gallery both properties link to the gallery file okay so the links are done in the dw file the other links if you don't want it you can delete okay anything that you want to customize here you can replace with a suitable objects or images okay, once you are done you make a save file save what happened is all other file index project gallery will be updated so that is the advantage of using templates in dreamweaver okay we are done next is more challenging we are going to use bootstrap for our template okay the problem is uh, template works in the design view whereas bootstrap works in the live view okay so there is some problem later on in okay, uh, still using the same site file new from template start the template this time we choose both bootstrap you can choose any of those create Okay, bootstrap uh, works best in the live view okay but the problem is when you are in the live view you can't save as template okay that's the problem let's say we want to create three pages using this bootstrap template and they should uh, look the same the interface so first we modify the design uh, i'll start with the menu home should be linked to index so make sure you are in live view for bootstrap it works in live view yeah so home here you can highlight the word home 
and then link it just like you did in the previous exercise browse for file okay currently uh, we don't have the file yet so cancel this uh, okay currently we have uh, the previous example is these three files uh, index index project gallery is using this design.dwt file uh, so this is our first site maybe we should uh, start with a new site we leave this one this one is using normal template normal responsive template the next one will use a bootstrap template okay so in a new site i'll be using a bootstrap template site new site let's say web number two you can type the folder name it will be created for you if it doesn't exist web2 web2 okay save so now if you check in your file section web1 is the previous site we are we are done with it web2 is the new site we haven't created any files okay let's start from nothing make sure you are using the new site okay if you want to know which site you are using it's under files okay make sure you are in the correct site i'm in site number two now file new bootstrap any of those template from bootstrap Okay, next uh, we'll edit some of the design first. Home project gallery. So those are the three links that you want. Uh, so for the link, the easiest way is you can duplicate this three times from project gallery another two links okay you can do it in the code view make sure you are in the lives and split okay one of the way is we select home okay so it will show us in the code where is home it's somewhere here okay, that is the code for home yeah if you learn html before maybe it's easier for you to identify the beginning and the ending for the item okay so the item home starts from li until slash li okay that's the selection for home so I will copy this code, particularly line 17. Copy, then I go down to new line and then paste. Okay, that's one of the way you can duplicate home, home. So we have two home. The next one should be gallery. So I edit the code here. Gallery. And the link we can create using either from the code here. Or you can click on the properties okay currently uh, the word home is linked to hash so maybe we can link to index.html we haven't created the file yet gallery links to gallery.html okay so uh, those are the two links that we have created home gallery another way that you can duplicate this is by using dome okay for example in dome if you click home it will show you it's here nav link 
the next item uh, gallery is another nav link okay so you can guess that all you have to do is duplicate this nav item active the word active uh, means that that is the active page uh, usually we we only have one active item in the menu okay uh, currently we already have two so what you can do is if you can if you want to duplicate another way is you can duplicate from here you see this form is associated with this particular line nav item active so all you have to do is control c copy and then paste okay so now you have another home 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 gallery so maybe you can change this to project so that's another way you can easily duplicate an item from the dome okay so for project uh, if you want to fix the link you can go to the source code or you can highlight and go to properties if you highlight and use the property for example after you highlight you go to properties and fix the link okay currently i selected project so i should link it to project.html okay you can type it manually because we don't have the file yet and then you press enter okay now it is already linked to project gallery to gallery home to index project to project okay uh, the third one link this one is uh, if you look at this uh, you look at the style this one is gray whereas uh, this one is black okay because the css style eh? okay uh, if you look at the style the black one is having the class active this is the link class nav item active so it's black uh, the one which is gray is just nav item without the active okay so it's having different color if you don't require the next two item you can delete it uh, you can select and then delete but uh, if you do it this way maybe there are some leftover of the codes okay uh, leftover of the codes mean if you check the source code even though you have deleted the link but some of the codes are still there for example this one they are left over okay i deleted the item but still have a leftover of the code so the proper way of deleting is uh, let me undo okay if you want to delete this particular item link okay you can delete it from the code highlight the source code here, line 21 for example is this particular html code for the word link okay you can delete press delete then that's a clean delete no leftover or another method is let me undo control c from the dome you can delete okay you click link select from the dome you have to identify which part is the proper dome for link okay and then you delete from there so you click link uh, this is the dome for link i press delete okay so that's a clean delete no leftover of the code okay next uh, we are still editing the design uh, you go down let's say you don't want this request free quotes appears on every pages okay so you can delete 
the section that you don't want easily by again using dome yeah so let's say we we need the footer above the footer is probably the container for request a free quote so the easiest way is we delete it from dome okay so if i select container that uh, for the footer that will be the last part i can fix my footer here okay next i want to delete this unwanted section so i go to dome i identify which one i don't want this one is a form so i delete it uh, what else you don't need let's say you don't need uh, too many section uh, let's say you don't need the circles here so you identify which part is the circles Okay, then you delete it it's about us yeah so uh, right after about us okay so i already identified this is the section where it have a lot of circles for images delete so it's gone so once you have done with the design uh, you have decided which part you want to maintain which part you want to delete which menu you want to modify you can save it as template to save as template you have to go to design view that's the requirement in dreamweaver file now we can save as template okay now we can say this is our bootstrap design okay i give number one sometimes one site can have multiple templates okay it, it looks terrible in the design view to look uh, to look how it looks like it must be in the live view so in live view it looks fine okay now we will check in our file section if you check on your files reviewer okay it's under files now we have the template folder and there's a bootstrap.dwt there are some other folders the uh, javascript folder contains some script images css okay so we'll be using this bootstrap dwt as our basic template for the three files that we'll create after this okay file new this time we choose site templates we already have the bootstrap template here create Okay, so this will be uh, can you save it this is the home uh, currently we can't edit anything because in our template we haven't designed we haven't defined the editable region okay so you can't type anywhere uh, let me save first file save as okay the first file is index html okay let's go back to our template dwt file i open it again bootstrap dwt 
Okay, to declare an editable region, uh, it only works in the design view. So if you try to work in live view, insert template uh, here, none of it are working because you need to change to design view. Okay, in the design view, uh, you highlight the part where you make you want to make it editable. Okay, for example, from lorem until learn more. Okay, this will be my editable region. So I go to insert template editable region. Okay, then you put a label content one for example. Okay, so you get this indication that it's an editable region named content one okay uh, file save the problem with bootstrap dot dwt is uh, when you change it the file index should be updated but in this case, uh, we don't see any update here. Yeah? So that's one of, the pro one of the problem if you are using um, bootstrap combined with the template. Save as template. It's not updating. Okay, for example, this one, uh, let me change the nest bar to the logo. Okay, currently I don't like this nav bar, so let's try to change to a photo. Okay, to make any editing for the bootstrap template, you have to be in the live view. Except when you want to deal with uh, editable region, not editable region, then you should be in the design view. Okay, so here I want to change nav bar. I want to change it with uh, auto. Okay, so here uh, you can see the code. We can go to dome again and we can delete this particular nefba nefba brand. Okay, or you can delete the word nefva and then insert bootstrap component, responsive image, and then uh, and then put an image here. Okay, the problem is we can't insert any bootstrap component because this file is not a html file this is a dwt file so that's the problem when you want to create bootstrap as a template so what you should do if you want to insert any of those bootstrap component currently none of it are active you have to save this file as html file then it will work okay save as uh, this one is the original file bootstrap.dwt and we save it as bootstrap.html okay uh, now if it's html you can edit and insert uh, any of those bootstrap component okay so make sure you are in the correct position if we can place the mouse or cursor before home okay, um, okay. 
Okay, if you are familiar with HTML, you can guess that uh, this is where you should place your image. Okay, so if you put the word image here, uh, just to make sure that it is in the correct position. Okay, so I'm in the correct position. Uh, I will insert bootstrap component. Now it works because it's a HTML file. Default nested okay then you choose an image source uh, you find a su suitable image for your logo it will ask you to copy yes we put it in the folder images and then save okay next uh, home is make sure you link to the proper file home to index project to uh, project and then gallery to gallery okay once you are done with editing of images and other items you can save it back to dwt dwt okay now we are in html uh, we need HTML to make editing. Save. Okay, once you're done, uh, we can save back as a template. Yes. Okay, if you see two DWT file, uh, this is the old one you can close the new one already have a logo so to add a logo it's strange you have to convert this to html uh, then after you're done you save back to dwt so the trick is whenever you want to make any editing to bootstrap you must be in html format and once you are done uh, you can go back to dwt format okay so if you check uh, my file here I got DWT and I also got HTML. Whenever you, you want to add something, you must be in HTML. Whenever you want to update all other files, you can use DWT. Okay, now we want to create uh, the other files. Okay, file new. Uh, we, we already have one index already created. Okay, so if you look at index, it doesn't it doesn't change uh, when we try creating template just now whenever we add something it should be updated here okay to to ensure that it's updated you have to uh, link this file again it's under uh, tools templates and then apply template to this page Okay, in, as you can see, uh, in your template, you already have you already have a logo. Uh, this is the mobile version. Okay, let's if you look at the desktop version. Okay, there's a logo here. This logo, however, is not here in the index. So you need to make this additional step every time you update your DWT file to make uh, your other file updated. You have to link it again. Tool, template, apply template to this page and then choose your bootstrap template. Okay, so now it's updated with the MME logo. So if you are using bootstrap, there's an additional step. Tool template apply template to this page then you'll see the updated version okay make a save okay next we'll create another page from the bootstrap template and the name of the page is file save as gallery for example and it must be safe outside the folder templates here yeah? So index is outside the folder template. 
gallery is also outside and the third file is project uh, new again from bootstrap create file save as project dot html okay, next you put the proper content the content this uh, if you are confused which file you are editing it uh, if which file you are editing uh, just look at this particular tab project this is the current file gallery now they all look alike because you are using template so just click on the file that you want to edit here okay so this is the file for project this is a star because we haven't saved gallery okay uh, this one should be gallery when you use template remember that you can't edit other part except the editable region editable region which is content one here okay, so this one is gallery sometimes if you can't click uh, in the design view you can check in the code okay if you look at the code uh, anything after instant begin editable is editable before it is it is gray because you can edit it so whatever with whatever uh, that falls under begin editable you can edit it and the end is indicated by an editable okay so here i can't edit from the design so i edit here in the code gallery okay because they are overlapping so this is for gallery uh, last one is home index okay this one the title is home okay done uh, the easiest way is you can make a right click and then save all save all okay once you save all we can preview file preview in your browser if you do it correctly you'll get your page displayed with the link uh, working home go to home project go to project gallery goes to pro gallery uh, sometimes when you preview you get an error so my suggestion is if you get an error you can close all the files and open it again then preview okay for example uh, let's say you make some editing here gallery you put some photo insert uh, bootstrap component some photo nest okay you choose an image Okay, once you edited anything, you save, uh, then preview. Okay. If you don't see your preview, you simply close it. And then open the file again, then preview. 
Okay, that is if you want to edit the content. If you want to edit the template again, go to your files. Okay, I show you the problem uh, just now. If you edit DWT, okay, the problem is if you want to edit DWT, it doesn't allow you to add any of those. Uh, if you are not, you are not allowed to add any of those bootstrap component. Okay, so what you can do is you can save as HTML, then convert back to DWT. Okay, let's say uh, we don't want the search box. Okay, so I will edit the DWT file. Okay, I don't want search and then the disable item. So you should uh, delete it using DOM. Okay, there are easy way and hard way. Uh, if you are familiar with HTML, you can click and then view the code. Okay, then you can identify which part is the code for search. Okay, if you press the search button, you can identify this code form is the code for that particular search box. Okay. Or you can go to DOM. Okay, you can identify this is the form for search. You can select here, form, and then press delete. So the search is gone. If you don't want the disable item, same. Uh, go to the code delete the code for the disabled item okay so the disabled item is gone okay, next uh, The most important part for your website is it should have a proper title. So in your DWT file, we will specify the title, file, page properties, and you need to fix this title. Okay, title, can you see? Under the title, currently it says Bootstrap Agency Template. You just put your old name or the title of the page and then okay we don't preview this one we only save okay uh, once you save uh, it will ask you to update okay uh, but some of the file won't be updated uh, we should have three files to be updated because we built three files just now so just in case that your files is not updated what you should do is you check one by one or you can open all these three files and check which which one is not updated uh, open gallery open index and open project Okay, if it's updated, it shouldn't have the search search box or search form here because we already deleted in the template. However, if you check, some of the file is not updated. So the step is you have to link them again. Uh, for example, this gallery is not updated. So you go to tool, template, apply template to this page. Okay. So if it doesn't work, you have to be in the design view here. Yeah? So in the design view, tool, template, apply template to this page. Select. Okay, then you go back to live view. Uh, you'll see that the search box is gone. Uh, so it's a little bit tricky. Uh, because the template 
is conflicting with the bootstrap uh, concept okay so project the same we have this search box still there search form so you need to link it tool template it doesn't work here because again i say template only work in design view okay go to design view site uh tool sorry tools template apply template to this page bootstrap select okay done so if you look in the live view again great it works next you make a right click anywhere here save all so all these four files are safe then you hit f12 on your keyboard to preview Okay, so you see that uh, all the search box is gone. Gallery, project, home. Okay, currently my content is nothing. Uh, so your job is to create these three pages, any pages. They must use bootstrap. Okay, to submit, you have to record. Uh, not the step you record uh, uh, video demonstration video demonstration of your dreamweaver screen all you need to do is show that uh, you are using bootstrap to know whether you are using bootstrap bootstrap it's easy uh, you open your files okay i can see that you if you have bootstrap scripts Okay, all you have to do is expand this show and then you will have the source code bootstrap jquery popper it will appear here okay if you use bootstrap currently it's not supporting version 5 you have to do it manually currently, currently it's still version 4 okay uh, then you have to show the preview uh, after you show me the files you have dwt HTML, three of it at minimum. And then you show the file structure. Okay. And then you have to preview. Okay. One, uh, make sure the title is changing. If it's not changing, currently it's bootstrap agency page. Uh, you have to che check. Uh, the page properties yeah page properties okay title it seems that uh, the template does not update the title of the individual pages so you have to do it manually okay so the title is important for seo here i have to do it manually because the template does not update the other files so i update manually for all three pages okay once you are done you can demonstrate your preview page properties title do it manually one by one okay if you use the normal template just now uh, it should be updated for all file but here we are using combination of bootstrap and template you have this problem save all and then you hit f12 to preview okay uh, you see the title is now updated imran is the title okay correct so all you have to do is demonstrate uh, your preview is working if it doesn't work all you have to do is close all right click close all and open one of the files Okay, any of this and then preview again. Then it will show the preview correctly in your browser. Okay, to know it's a bootstrap, uh, okay, you can start resizing. Okay, you will see this hamburger menu. And I can also see in your Dreamweaver you have this bootstrap codes. Okay, so your submission is uh, in the form of YouTube video you record the dreamweaver screen show that you have this particular file structure 
you have the dwt you have these three files gallery index project you open it and finally you demonstrate it in your chrome or whichever browser okay make it large small you can make narration as well so that's the end